Component 5 Rating Determination for Educators Using STAR Student Growth Percentile. Prior to completing this exercise, educators may wish to review specifics regarding the use of Student Growth Percentile for Component 5 purposes. A copy of the SGP Explanation video from the Fall of 2015 can be found on the staff channel of the district website in the DPAS2 section. In addition to the video, an SGP FAQ document from REN Learning has been uploaded as a resource. To get the necessary data in a workable format, we need to go into DSC. Click on iTracker Pro. Once inside iTracker Pro, look for the Star Growth Summary by Class Report. The number of this report varies by user, so while it is report number 11 on this list, your list may be different. Once you've found the STAR Growth Summary by Class Report, double-click it. In this example, Mark Overly is the teacher. It's typical for an elementary teacher to teach their homerooms, reading and mathematics. So he selected his homeroom, room 335, and is pulling his class's reading data. If you are a secondary level teacher with multiple class sections, Select one of the sections or courses for now. After extracting the data for this initial class or cohort, you'll need to repeat the same process until you've pulled the data from all your courses. Again, for now, just pull one class's data and continue to follow along. Push Run Report to continue. The resulting report should look very familiar. Because this tutorial is being made prior to the availability of the spring data, you'll notice that the spring cells are empty. Once populated by DSC, an additional column will be added and populated labeled Spring SGP. Scroll down to the bottom of the page on the left-hand side and look for the Download to Excel button. Go ahead and click the Download to Excel button. You will then be prompted to save the document. Choose a naming convention that clearly identifies the content of the document. I've chosen Overly, Reading, SGP Median Determination. Notice that the extracted file is in a CSV format. Before saving the document, use the drop-down list and select Excel Workbook instead of CSV file. Your Excel spreadsheet should look something like this. For this exercise, I went ahead and added spring data. Included in that data is a column labeled spring SGP. The first thing we want to do is get rid of all the extra data that we don't need by deleting these unneeded columns. To delete a column in Excel, go to the very top of the column and left click. Notice this entire column will highlight. Once it's highlighted, right-click and select Delete. Repeat the same process for all of this data. The only thing we want remaining on the other side of the student's name is a single column, and that column should be the Spring SGP score. Now let's identify those students that need to be excluded from the roster. Many of you have already identified these students as part of the roster verification process that needed to be done for Group 1 teachers. In this case, we know that several students need to be removed from this roster. To identify these students, simply go to the student's name, select it, and highlight it in yellow. In this case, three students did not meet the criteria to be included in the verified roster. Once you've highlighted your students' names, click Save. Now that you've saved, let's rename this sheet. Go to the bottom of the sheet and hover over the name of the tab, Sheet 1, and right-click. Go to Rename and type in All students. Once you've completed that step, click Save again. 
We're now going to make an identical copy of this worksheet that will be used to calculate the SGP median of your verified roster. To do this, right click over the All Students tab and select Move or Copy. Click Move to End and Create a Copy and click OK. You'll now see that an identical copy, copy two of all students has been made. We'll want to rename this tab. So hover over tab two of all students and right click. Select rename and let's name this median of the verified roster. Click save again. Now that you've saved it, let's get rid of those students that should not be on your verified roster by simply deleting the row of the highlighted students. To do so, put your cursor on the row number, left click to highlight it, right click and select delete. Repeat this process, left click, right click, delete for all of the highlighted students and click Save. We're now left with only the SGP scores of our verified roster. It's now time to calculate the median SGP of these students, but we're going to let Excel do the work. So in the cell underneath the last student score, type the following formula. Equal sign median parentheses and notice you get a little pop-up that says from number one to what number. Once that pop-up comes up put your cursor in the first score of the first student and simply drag down through the last score of the last student. When it's all highlighted, simply click Enter. Excel will automatically calculate the median score of all those cells that you just highlighted. Let's label this now as the median and make it stand out a bit. To do that I'm going to put it in red font and behind it in red font I'm going to label it as median SGP of the verified roster. And I may even bold it and make it just a little bigger to stand out. And that's it. We're going to push save here. And we are through with determining the median SGP of the verified roster. You have two documents. The first tab is all of your students. The second tab is all of your verified roster students and their SGP scores. And you've calculated your median SGP that will be used to determine your component five rating for this measure. Your evaluator will want to go through these documents with you. It would be a good idea to bring them in electronic format, either on a flash drive or email this worksheet to your building administrator prior to your goal attainment conference. That way he or she can review the names of the students with you and ensure that the median was calculated correctly. Once that's been verified, we'll simply print both documents. The teacher and the evaluator will sign and date each one that's the information that will need to be uploaded into DSC as evidence for this measure.